Sticks Exenhammer sex 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 went to New Orleans and then went to jail in New Orleans for domestic battery. This is Tara Warwick's incarceration booking page. Uh, wasn't booked on um, September 30th. His next court date was on the 1st of October. And he ended up waiting four full days, I think. Actually, I think less than that, like two or three days. And he was bailed out by none other than the quartering. For whatever reason, the quartering took pity. And as soon as he heard about the domestic battery charges, his, he said, I got to free my nigga. So he got on the phone. And he paid a $5,000 cash bond to Tarl to get him out of jail. Uh, this led many people to laugh at him for being a godless heathen that runs around beating women. He traveled all the way from Vermont to New Orleans to beat a woman and got arrested for it. And uh, I find him smug and insufferable. I'll play, uh, after these days of silence, he comes out and he basically just makes a boring video. I'll play like a little bit of it. Um, this video has 200,000 views, but he says absolutely nothing. All right, everyone, talk about weird times. Uh, you probably were wondering where I was for an entire week. It, uh, actually, I was in jail. Uh, don't worry, uh, I'm, I'm going to have no problem with the charges. They're pretty spurious. But I do have some fun stories in regards to that. Now, of course, I'm not going to talk about the specifics of the case for legal reasons. Um, and actually, it turns out that Jeremy, the quartering, uh, was the one that posted my bond. So, a big shout out to him. Uh, I owe him a number of free live streams uh, as a result of this. Uh, I just wanted to tell a, a little bit about the experience, though. You know, you get uh, dragged off by the police, you know, get booked, and all this bullshit. Um, and then you go to jail. Not prison, it's just jail. Uh, temporary holding while they, you know, figure out sort of what's going on, then you have to go and do a court date uh, and you know, give your testimony and stuff like that, and then they figure it out later. Here's my experience. Uh, overall, uh, there were some very unpleasant things about it, but then there were things about it that were surprisingly, like, easygoing. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the first things that I saw when I arrived in, in the jail was actually a dude snorting cocaine. He had a little white packet and he was like chopping it up with his fingers and then he had like a little straw and he was snorting and I'm like, what? How did you get it in here? Then I realized, oh shit, they don't really have any drug checking in here. It was an older dude too, it was like a dude in his 60s and I thought that was surreal. I'm like, that's the first time by the way that I've even seen cocaine and it <laughs> happens to be in a fucking jail holding cell. Uh, you know, but prior to, you know, getting your orange jumpsuit and shit like that. That was strange. Um, then, and at another point, uh, let me talk about one unpleasant experience first. Um, in the, uh, the, the, well, they're not really cells, but like little glassed off rooms that, you know, you get locked into at night. Um, you know, you're sleeping like 12 people to a room in a room that's way, way smaller than my bedroom uh, at Jasana. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, they have a shortage of blankets there. And so I slept on a bare floor for a week, like, with no covering at all. I was lucky if I could get a little towel to use, fold it up and use as a pillow just for my head to keep that from hurting. I've got bruises on my arms and on my legs as a result of this. Uh, it was almost unbearable, that part, because I tend to be an insomniac anyway. So that wasn't necessarily... Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, his base, the summary of his story is that... Well, yes, I was arrested for domestic violence in New Orleans. No, I won't talk about it. Also, I went to jail, and let me tell you how cool jail was. Me and the cool kids hang out doing drugs and marijuana, and um, I was very... Everyone was very impressed by my uh, my strength and testicular fortitude, and I was very cool in jail, and so on and so forth. And uh, take it easy, peace. Also, I'll beat my charges, I think is what he says. Um... I don't know. This guy lives in Copesville. <laughs> I, 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 I hate sticks. I hate how he talks. I hate everything about his online personality. I hate the fact that he gropes women who are not consenting to it on camera. 
Um, I hate the fact that he married a woman and then had a child with her and then abandoned her in the Netherlands to move to the United States to get... I hate the fact that he forced a woman to induce abortion using homegrown abortion medicine that he grows in his own garden because apparently he does this so often he doesn't want to go to the store and leave like a paper trail. So he just grows abortion stuff in his own garden for it. It's just kind of a gigantic piece of shit and I feel like... If he gets chewed up by some crazy bitch in Nollings, uh, he probably deserves it. Uh, enjoy prison, soccer child. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.